the, that the character I play, Kyle, that there's sort of a kind of a oblivious innocence to the character that uh, I thought was kind of funny and, um, yeah, so I just kind of got a kick out of uh, his sort of, um, you know, it, there's that sort of the, the tyranny of the pleasant personality and there's definitely an element of that with, with Kyle. What I liked when I, uh, when I first read it was, um, you know, that, that it's kind of the story of these two brothers and growing up with brothers, being a brother. Um, I feel like I have some experience in the way you can love your brothers and they can drive you crazy. Uh, you know, there can be sort of that thin line <laughs> between the two. And, um, I felt like that the relationship between Kyle and Peter um, had a lot of that stuff that I could kind of relate to. He would kind of say, you know, don't don't forget that Kyle thing. Uh, you know, he's got that, uh, that that kind of, which I have taken to mean um, that kind of, um, you know, innocence. Um, slightly ir irritable, but, but in a good-natured way. So it's sort of like a, you know, like a Labrador puppy kind of, where it's like um, it, it, they can, uh, uh, lovable, but uh, they, they can, you know, also chew up the furniture and uh, chew up your shoe and uh, make a mess and stuff. Kyle has, um, my character has um, no complaints with the universe. The universe has dealt him very good cards. He, as far as he can um, tell, he just lives in Hawaii and he's the um, spokesman for some barbecue sauce that, you know, makes a very good living, not having to do too much, has this beautiful, girlfriend who um, he's going to marry and she's pregnant. So everything is um, turning up aces for Kyle in the beginning. And uh, the only thing that probably is a little bit off is his relationship with his brother. And again, I don't think Kyle recognizes that there's anything off because he always sort of sees the best in things. So he just kind of chalks it up to Pete's kind of... Um, you know, that's just Pete. I guess that's probably what I was most excited about. Um, you know, you can always kind of read the script and, um, but, but it's the people that are gonna be involved that um, that's obviously really important. And so knowing that Ed um, Helms was playing my brother and uh, that I was gonna have most of my scenes with him, um, that was uh, that was really attractive to me, just because I think he's, you know, a really good actor and really smart and funny, and I thought I'd I thought would play well off of each other, and then also working with Larry, um, who had, you know, who I was friends with from before, and then, you know, the cast that Larry put together uh, with. Uh, J.K. Simmons and Terry Bradshaw and Harry Shear and Glenn Close and um, yeah, we just have a great group of people in the movie. Cat Williams and my fiance Jessica Gomes. He was very supportive and encouraging of. Um, you know, if, if you had an idea to try it in the scene or uh, he might have a line that he'd throw out to us and we would just, uh, yeah, sometimes a lot of stuff is just Ed and I just kind of, you know, being stuck together on this journey. And so, um, you know, we would do it as scripted, but um, a lot of times stuff would just come up with stuff Ed was saying that was just, you know, would make me laugh or just be um, interesting and that would get me thinking.